Hi, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks everyone for taking the time to check out my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks to all the newcomers, for all the curious people like me, myself, and very curious about the surface of the moon. Look at this structure. Guys, you're going to have to come to realizing that the moon is filled with structures, many different types of structures. This pipe longs all along a yard, massive high wall. I've showed close-ups of this. Now, Clavius Crater, uh, seen from the ground level surface view, um, you know, it's all out there. John Lear told us that the Pentagon had said that they knew about the structures since the 1800s. Can you imagine that? The proof is out there. But why do people still say, it'll never be proven, there's no structures on the moon. We have to get past that point, guys, okay? The proof is out there. I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, for those who are wanting the truth to be out there, don't worry, guys, it's out there. Everyone knows, but not the public. Let it be noted for those trolls who say that these surfaces, the colors are manipulated. Do you know that each individual structure are colored? Look closely. Each, each individual structure has its own color. Do you understand that? It's not a layer that is over this photo. It's not a layer of atmosphere that's causing disturbance. People are saying, oh, the atmosphere is causing these colors. No, it's the structuring that, that, that is that color. And now what is blurry spots in these photos and all photos on the moon and what people think are smudges from NASA are actually cities of jumbled up structures. There we go. I've joined the Nuts Club and I'm very happy I, I have because very smart people know that the moon's inhabited or was inhabited, but th that there are structures up there. That is a fact. I put all my money on that. The moon is definitely a manipulated, entire manipulated surface. I can only imagine what the dark side looks like. But more and more, we're going to see these structures clarified and come to life. That's for sure. In color, see this object at the end of each point of this object, there are a spherical dome, like light uh, source. So this is on the surface of the moon, and these structures aren't recognized. And at the end is a pipe or tunnel that goes into the ground. Now, this is something that's unnatural and obviously something that was built. So for those who are interested, um, I'll explain something um, of my research. This is Mary Chrysium to the left here. Look behind Mercrisium to the right of it. You can see at the back, look, we're going to look at that, the detailed structuring. Why do I say structuring? Look how things are connected. And just wait, we'll get in a lot closer. But we're looking at a surface that it was totally manipulated. And the color that you're seeing in this video is not added color. It's natural color. Now look here. Now, do you know what that blur is amongst, um, over top and between uh, these tunneling structures? Do you understand how they build now? Those blurs are little, well, closer to the surface structures. And that's what I'll be proving. And that's what I'll be showing uh, more and more as we go. And of course, I'll be looking through my photos now because I can explain it. So you're looking at structure ring, which is uh, communication to get to all the structures. And amongst that, there's a blur, all the blur patches and colors you're seeing, it's all different independent structures. They're all down there, They're, they really are. And in the blurs, like I showed uh, beside sinus iridum, the close ground level structures are the blurs. And those blurs could be where the smoke is coming from on top of that. So if you have hundreds of thousands of companies all jumbled up together, manufacturing, uh, or producing and causing smoke, and you get the smoke over top of the structures, even harder to um, see them. Again, we're seeing independent colors, not a layering, not atmospheric disturbance. Independent colors. The blurs, don't forget, are jumbled up structures that are close to ground level. 
I'll be proving that throughout the year of 2018. This is tonight's moon, January 25th, 2018, seen from Montreal, Quebec. It is freezing outside, by the way, absolutely freezing. And here, um, I'm, you know, looking at the, the weather and they're saying that it's with the wind chill factor minus 15. There's a problem. I was outside. I couldn't feel my fingers. And my P900, after less than 15 minutes, the battery expired. That's the third time it does that. The P900 in the cold is not good at all. Hopefully the 14 this weekend, I have to do some tests. I cannot wait. Guys, I can't wait. Um, Siri A and B from tonight was flaring. Exceptionally beautiful. Um, we're going to take a look at that right after the moon footage of tonight. So this is all footage from tonight as of now for the rest of the video. Guys, I love you all. Thanks for stopping by, for contributing, for sharing, for commenting, and being a part of um, this curious group. And I count myself a part of it because it's so beautiful, um, the moon and space and everything that's out there. And we know so little about it. And we're going to find all that out together. Welcome, everyone.
WSO YouTube channel, check them out. And when I can talk one day, we'll be talking.